I'm really excited about what you are doing, you Lick folks and Cambium folks, with this uh, once and future community. Um, my whole life at this point is focused on uh, understanding communities and supporting them happening. Uh, my own metaphor for that is reinventing the village. Uh, I'm committed to downsizing civilization, uh, emptying all of our mega cities of 10, 20 million people and spreading out in little villages all over planet Earth. So I'm excited when I meet people who are actually have their feet on the ground and are doing this. So it's an honor to work with you and to participate in your meetings and retreats and your planning sessions. I'm in Europe right now visiting uh, intentional communities and eco-villages and uh, from Findhorn in Scotland to uh, Siebenlinden in northern Germany and now here I am uh, in Austria and grateful to be interacting with you. For me, the, the community idea is uh, thrilling and my metaphor is the village. It's the right scale, it's the right level of intimacy where the most important things can happen. And uh, I love this German word, Gemeinschaft. The, the dream now in, seems to revolve around this place called Ferry. And Ferring is, is a, a place. And then there are um, these uh, dreams of village ideas, maps, models. Um, and then there are uh, the structures that we're talking about. Uh, community building, decision-making processes, and so on. So there's and there's what now, a hundred people perhaps, more or less, interested in this dream? So there's a purpose for this, and there's people, and there's a place. But so far, Lick and Cambium are uh, bunches of folks, and Ferding is a place, and then there's this dream. Sometime, sometime soon, I would like to have a name that I can, you know, this community will have a name. And uh, it'll be much easier to talk about it. Right now, I can talk about uh, this dream, the dream that you have. Fairing is not a Gemeinschaft. The dream is not a Gemeinschaft. It's a dream. But real communities are made up out of relationships, lots and lots of relationships. And for the point of entry for me, the acupuncture point, if you will, to enter into true community is the intimate relationships of the people in that community. Relationships between children and between uh, parents and children and between families and between lovers and between uh, bosses and employees, all of those are relationships. And the quality of those relationships will determine ultimately the spirit and the quality of the community. So the, the group soul or the group spirit, um, you have these wonderful words in German, Gruppenzella or uh, Zeitgeist, or a whole concept of of the being that is the community itself. So for me, the relationships are the place where we can make changes, where we can make things better or make things worse, where trouble begins and where answers are found. If uh, if our relationships are open and authentic and genuine, the quality of the community will be open, authentic, and genuine. And if our personal relationships are a little bit fearful, or uh, we, we don't want to show who we really are, or 
Uh, we don't want to uh, disagree with people. We'll have a community that is a little bit shy, a little bit fearful, and stays very, very polite. So, ultimately, the quality of our relationships will determine the quality of our community. So, we've already been working on those relationships and noticing where they fit together beautifully and where they bump into each other. And those are the places where the life blood of the community will spring, where it will move beyond dream and into a working, living community. Now the quality of these relationships is very uh, woven together with the quality of the way we talk to each other, the way we communicate, our communion with each other. And if our words and talk with each other is open and uh, there's um, uh, what? that we're willing to be truthful and we're willing to be open and loving and generous and to uh, if, if I'm free to tell you how I feel and I have room for you to tell me how you feel uh, we build trust together through how we talk and listen to each other and if I, if I open my heart and show you who I am, you can trust me. And if I keep my heart closed and wait for you to go first, we may never end up trusting each other. So these are the little ways in which how we are together will determine how that community is together and how that community uh, dances with the rest of the world and the other communities. And of course, the way I talk to you, and the way you listen, and the way you talk to me and I listen, ha has everything to do with how, uh, if I've done my own inner work, my inner work of, of connecting my head and my heart and my body and, and my spirit, the four directions, if you know those wonderful maps, the the medicine wheel maps, Jung's uh, quaternity. Carl Jung had four points on his map too. When I bring my heart and my mind and my body and my spirit together, that's, that results in a very high quality uh, communication. And so the quality of my inner work, how whole and complete I am, determines my communication and my communication determines my relationship to my relationships determine the community so you see the the work begins here and ends with the community but then beyond the community there's what is the community's reason for being in the world so it's one of these never-ending stories and uh, I'm thrilled to be here and uh, as long as it's going on and as long as it doesn't end and as long as I don't end, happy to work together. <laughs>